I found out that a popular Nigerian blogger came out a particular uh, at a particular period of time to say that um, she was circumcised as a child, and also that made her not to enjoy sexual intercourse. So when I got these questions about female circumcision, the female that has been circumcised, how they can enjoy sex, I decided to research more. That was when I found out about um this particular blogger. That was not circumcised and she came out openly to talk about it good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is miss mary popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be talking about female circumcision which is female genital mutilation what it is and also how these people can actually have a beautiful sex experience and also i'm going to be sharing with you what this particular uh, popular blogger said about this um female circumcision she had i'm going to be reading through what i saw on the internet about it but before we go into details if you are new on our youtube channel and your reproductive health or these are the content you are interested in please click on that subscribe button turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers, this is not Smith Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like Elia said, today I'm going to be talking about um how I feel female that are being circumcised can make move in order to address sex rather than always having painful sexual intercourse like I, the complaints i get on my dm first of all i'm going to be reading what this popular nigeria blogger said about her own um circumcision that's about her not being circumcised some years ago because i was browsing about it trying to get information so i met i saw this particular post it was posted june 1st 2014 by the cable.ng i'm going to be leaving the link if you want to read more this is where i got the information from so i am not the founder of the information so he said that i'm going to be reading through and i'll put it on the screen he said some time ago popular blogger linda linda ikeji revealed a personal and controversial secret to her reader she has she has following her blog this is not the first time such a public figure would be revealing such personal secrets to the world if you missed it Here's the post below. Not just Nidai Keji, I also saw another popular I think, uh, um, journalist. A popular journalist he came out to talk about being circumcised too and how they feel about sex too. So I'm going to be reading that of Linda Keji. So I'm going to be scrolling up. I hope I'm able to put it on the screen. Mm -hmm. So it's, as I read what they said, I have not been with a man in so long that I hardly remember what it feels like anymore mostly for two reasons why she has not been with a man one i was brought up in a kind of way i have to really be into someone before i can share my body with them and i have not met anyone special in a long while so i have been riding solo it makes me sad sometimes secondly i have never really enjoyed sex and i blamed it on the fact that i was circumcised she said, I have never really enjoyed sex and I blamed it on the fact that I was circumcised. Some things were cut off. So there's not so much sensation down there. I mean, I enjoyed intimacy and when the tongue was at work, but penetration was a different case. Half the time, I could not wait for him to get off me. I cannot believe I'm writing this on the internet. So usually... I tell myself, why seek something you don't particularly enjoy? What is, what's the point really? So I have basically just stayed away. But lately, I have been feeling somehow, and I think it's the time for me to get my groove back. So if you want to read the full write-up, I'm going to be dropping the link, this the www.thecable.ng. That was where I saw the post about what Linda Ikeji wrote in regards to... Um, being circumcised you can see what i wanted to understand here he said secondly i have never really enjoyed sex and i blamed it on the fact that i was circumcised some things were cut off so there is not much sensation down there so that is what this popular nigerian blogger said so you can see she blamed it on circumcision because um the clitoris 
is an organ that has a lot of nerves. I've talked about, I, I, I made a video on facts about the clitoris. If you've not watched it, I'm going to be leaving it, a link in the description box below. So when the clitoris is caught up, a lot of sensation that is likely going to make a lady get um, this orgasm of get, make them arose might not be there. So when going to the internet, trying to get some material, useful materials in regards to this, I saw some research work also that said that even ladies that are not circumcised can also enjoy sex. Yeah, that even ladies that are, that are circumcised, sorry, that are circumcised can also enjoy sex, same as ladies that cannot circumcise. So there are really controversies in these things, but the messages I got on my DM are particularly messages in regards to ladies telling me, Most Miss Mary, I am circumcised and I don't enjoy sex. So it's not, I don't really know, I have gotten these messages thousands of, like a lot, and I don't know how to deal with it. I have been checking how can these people actually find pleasure with sex, but it's difficult for me to really get useful materials and useful information for this particular topic. So that's why I've been staying away from it. So I decided to like, okay, what can I give from what I feel, what I think that can help this particular set of lady enjoy sex? It's like their partner should be patient enough. Yes, I feel their partner should be patient enough for them to understand what actually makes my lady like enjoy sex. What actually make her excited during sex? What can I do? There are different spots that can be touched. There are different spots that can be... um. So I say there are different spots that can be touched and there are different spots that can help a lady get aroused outside these uh, clitoris that's making them come to orgasm. So when I checked on, I, I tried to research more, I found out that, okay, I found out that for those ladies that have experienced, I believe they will agree to it, that there are some places that can be touched that can help a lady have sex properly, which is uh, maybe a kiss, the nape of the neck might help out. Um, the buttocks, hitting them in the buttocks, my hair part, the ear lobes, like having something to do with ear lobes, touching, kisses around that area, my help. Um, the breast and the nipples might actually help with getting her aroused and all that, getting her wet a little. Kisses, a lot of kisses, a lot of romance might be very, very important at this particular moment. Then also what I have here is upper and lower back, touching the upper and lower backs so these are just some of the points i feel might be important one thing is to have an understanding partner yes once you have an understanding partner let them help you discover those spots that needs to be touched those spots outside down there that might help you get arose that might help you get weight outside the clitoris because i have known a lot of ladies that are circumcised and they are battling with this and it's not something they like sharing out you might see a pretty lady out there she's pretty but deep down she actually wants to enjoy sex with her husband but she is finding it difficult because she is being circumcised so i feel the partner has a role to play in helping this woman discover her g-spot and also the woman also has a role to play by communicating with the spouse to let them know oh when you touch me here it's much better when you touch me in this way it's much better when you touch me here nothing happens so it's just a matter of them communicating and finding a balance to help each other I don't know if you get so some people ask like um when i made a video on female genital mutilation i'm going to be dropping the link so you watch too I'm, I'm supposed to say that in the beginning of this video on female genital mutilation i'm going to be dropping the link so you watch and know what female genital mutilation is all about which they known as popular circumcision um, female circumcision so a lot of people in the africans they do it because they feel that it helps their daughter stay away from promiscuity it makes them not to be promiscuous because they feel that when uh, a woman has a clitoris, everything in turn, this woman becomes promiscuous. This woman wants to always have sex. Virginity is not difficult for them to keep intact. So that is why they feel that, okay, female genital uh, mutilation, which is female circumcision, is important that they do it. Because once they do it, they feel, oh, my daughter can't go anywhere. I know she's not going to have sex. I know she's not going to have that urge. I know she's not going to be in the mood and all that. So that is the reason why they do this female genital mutilation. So if you really want to understand, you don't know what FGM is all about, I'll leave the link, like I earlier said, in the description box below. You click, watch, and drop your own comments in regards to that. So I think that's all I have to share. Um, thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. 
for all my returning subscribers this is not messy maybe saying thank you bye and see you in our next video